Hey fellas, uh, we got fluids for the transmission and the engine and the transfer case and uh, the rear end, front end, give you some updates of what's going on here. Uh, got the hood put on and uh, got the engine oil, I got my zinc additives uh, and my uh, fluid for the transmission and the uh, transfer case and that's kind of where we're at right now trying to get things hooked up and uh, get some stuff done here to it uh, I'll let you know what we're doing next uh, I need to get the steering linkage done I have a really good idea how I'm doing that now I'm gonna be cutting this right here or just connecting it right here it's not too blurry and uh, from there, uh, boring a two inch hole through the frame and putting a pipe up at an angle, doing it from the bottom and the top here. Man, this is horrible videoing here, sorry. Uh, maybe that'll help. Putting a hole here at an angle down and out down here, two inch holes, and then welding it onto the main steering bar, which is you probably can't see it, but it's right underneath the frame here underneath that's about the only way I could run my steering I think that'll help hold it more steady too so I'll have to stick a bar through there so I'll steal bar and weld them there and on to the gearbox Whew. yeah uh, and I got some fittings but I got the wrong ones for the brakes so I got to go back uptown today and replace that it looks like all the oil did not come off the engine and transmission or the side of the car after I power washed it. So I'm going to actually have to get some soap and water and dump on that stuff and to get that off. And I got the shifter sitting inside there ready to be fabricated. Uh, I haven't hooked up the clutch yet. I got a hydraulic clutch for it. Master cylinder and uh, slave cylinder. And uh, I got to get that hooked up somewhere through the firewall here. And my new master cylinder is coming in today for this. So I'll have that. And that's where we're sitting right now. I'll keep you guys informed. All right, y'all. Just another little update here. I got the gear shifter in. Let me flip this around. And uh, I don't even know if I can get this up there yeah there's quite a few little bends and stuff I had to put into it but I got it and all five gears work or all six gears that's the good in reverse works with it so that's all done and the clutch master cylinder oh hold on a sec guys ah, there it's all hooked up filled and primed and it works I gotta move it around a little bit, but you know, it's flexible, so it's no big deal. And, uh, yep, there it is. And uh, so I got the clutch all hooked up good, got the gear shifter all hooked up good. I'm gonna hook up the uh, throttle bot or the throttle cable that you see hanging right there onto a bracket and get that hooked up to the carburetor. So I got a throttle. Uh, Getting real close to being able to test drive and actually drive down the road. So, oh, and steering shifter's hooked up, steering wheel. And hopefully I clearanced enough for it and I had it sitting outside with the hood up. A bunch of leaves fell into it. All right, right there. I got this shifter right there put on there. I got it welded down in there. Had to clearance out that piece of the subframe there. But it's all on there and it does seem to steer a little bit I haven't I only steered it well I had someone else sit in here to steer it uh, for me to push it in with the tractor but uh, seems like it's doing all right now so I guess we'll see for sure later next I'm hooking up the brakes all right y'all uh, just another little update here on the work going on my air compressor is currently down unfortunately so I can't blow stuff off and clean it up like I wanted to. The 
point set went out. Brand new 220 volt point set. Just bought them. They're like a month old or so. And uh, one side fried somehow. I got 120 going in on each side. But coming out, I got 120 on one post and 35 on the other post. And it won't kick the motor on at all. So I can't clean up shit like I got leaves and stuff all over this engine from it being outside. But now we're in the garage with it. But anyways, I got the uh, alternator on and the radiator installed. So let me flip this around. All right, there, I got the radiator installed and the special kit coming for that. And uh, yes, all this will be cleaned and uh, retouched up, repainted. The whole bay is getting actually, uh, right there's the alternator. It's a one wire uh, bullet alternator. Um, natural cast on the back, black uh, powder coat on the front. But uh, yeah, I still got to hook the one wire up straight to the battery and then the ground wire to the body. And uh, she's good to go. And uh, so it's a 100 amp uh, one wire alternator, built in voltage regulator. So I can get rid of that one, that voltage regulator. I ain't can use the old alternator. Went with this new style, a little pricey, 113 bucks, but well worth it. Um, I had to use some modified uh, uh, brackets there and stuff and bolts trying to find the right stuff for it but we got it and she's solid the belt's tight and so now the water pump will turn I'm still I ordered uh, special uh, chrome hoses uh, to go from the radiator to the thermostat on that side and the radiator over there boom, boom down to the water pump and then I gotta hook up my heater hoses, which are fairly easy. So, so I got a lot of cleaning up and stuff to do on this and moving stuff around. And I got the uh, oil pressure gauge. I got the oil pressure gauge hooked up, and I got the uh, temperature sensor hooked up inside. Um, so those are done. And uh, the manual shifter, all five gears are in and uh, the clutch is installed i don't know if i mentioned that before or not here i'm gonna put here and try to make it down this thing here <sighs> sorry guys uh my garage is a mess right now oh all right right there's the master cylinder for the clutch and the slave cylinder down there and that all hooks works up good um, I got all the brakes installed now and the new master cylinder for the brake system is there brand new and that works we got brakes and uh, oh I got the uh, uh, catch can hooked up to a dual PVC valve I don't know if you can see that or not hopefully that'll work fine for relieving the pressure um, oh. Open all this door here, and uh, there's my uh, clutch pedal. What I want to do with the clutch pedal is that when I put it on here and I welded it, it's a little bit crooked, sticking off to the side, which makes my foot rub the sidewall when I'm pressing it down. So I need to actually take this off and heat it up, maybe and bend it back over. And when I do that, I want to cut, take my saw and cut part of this pedal off right down the edge so it's only on this side and uh the only thing i'm waiting on for the throttle is the bracket in the mail it's supposed to be here like friday or something and the hoses are supposed to be here thursday or friday for the radiator so it's looking by this weekend if any luck i'll be able to start it and move it um right there's my shifter uh i still need Howdy y'all, um, a little bit more of an update here on uh, what I got going on with Frankenstein. We flip this around, hopefully you'll be able to see it. Yeah, I got the four wheel drive shifter installed. Had to cut a slot to hook it up. And uh, that what used to be the big main shifter for the five speed, which is now up here. And I'm getting things back together. And they're coming along. I had to weld the crap out of it. And you guys know I can't weld. So it's not like I could do a good job or anything. But 
it's on there I welded both sides in the bottom underneath of course burnt myself 500 times but it it seems to be on there really solid I smacked it a few times and didn't move didn't budge crack nothing so that's all I can say about that yeah all the brakes are hooked up oh. All the brakes are hooked up and uh, I mean other than putting an exhaust on here and waiting on my radiator hoses to come in the mail I'm and my throttle plate which is on the way as well it said it's been shipped along with my hoses for my radiator because they're specialty ones anytime you have a project like this everything you have to manually build yourself or get pieces you know it's, it's like impossible to get actual parts that you need or put together vehicles like this that are made out of a lot of that's why this vehicle is Frankenstein we have a 73 Lincoln Mark 4 460 in it an 88 F250 uh, ZFS 5 tranny in transfer case um, the back rear end I believe was an 87 uh, Dodge uh, 2500 what and uh, the front end is out of a 90 something 93 maybe uh, Dodge 3500 um, the body is a Jaguar <laughs> that's why it's Frankenstein it is put together out of a lot of parts out of the graveyard um, but this is an awesome project I absolutely love it it's so fun creating things, you know, that you didn't have before out of something or creating something that you have and you're not using, making something out of it, I guess is what I'm trying to say. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm sure you all figure it out. Uh, I don't know. I love doing this stuff though. It's the only thing that I, I really have a passion about. But it is coming along and I had a couple ideas um, for the ceiling up here if I can't get that to glue up because it seems like it's pretty heavy worst case scenario I'll drill small holes through the roof on top with flat top bolts so they don't stick up and uh, put a uh, bolt through with washer and nut flat washers on this side they hold it up. That's be my worst case scenario. But I'm hoping I don't have to do that. I'm hoping I have to, the spray glue will work. I just don't know if it will because that's some pretty heavy stuff up there. All right. Um, I think that's pretty much about it. Uh, yeah, all the brakes are hooked up. Everything, I mean, everything's going fantastic. We're really close. I'm just waiting on some parts. Um, I still got to get one more 10 foot exhaust pipe for the other header. And so I can cut that up into fours and get it uh, bent and positioned and welded how I want it. This is going to be the worst thing. I hate welding. I mean, I love welding because you can make stuff out of nothing, but I'm horrible at it. I've never had anybody ever teach me. Uh, I've watched a few YouTube videos. Yeah, it makes you a professional. You can do anything watching YouTube videos. <laughs> Anyways, that's where I'm at, guys. Alright, later.